Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the forces of Buck Wild conquer the northernmost region of Morningdale and the forces of Most Wanted expand their empire by seizing the crown and kingdom of Monarch's Bluff. KOTT News crews caught up with most wanted forces, straight up flexing on the steps of City Hall. Congratulations on your victory. How'd it go out there tonight? It went really well. Everybody was very disciplined. Everybody listened to comms and it went well. It went very well. What are your plans now that you control Monarch's Bluff? We are just a group of Hmong people just here to fight together and have some fun. Well, now you have two territories. Will you go for three? Yes, we will be looking for three. KOTT news crews were unable to secure an interview with Buck Wild leadership, but have submitted a request at City Hall. While in Morningdale, KOTT news made a shocking discovery about Barely Friends leadership. More on that story as it develops. Turning to the weather, and after all that excitement last night, the sun will act like it's just another day traveling across the sky. But once again, as the sun begins to dip, northern cold fronts will draft down the mountains, giving rise to a 30% chance of invasion. Another submission for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it is cardboard. Tonight, the Syndicate forces of Bose CB4 Hose assaults the Marauders of CB4 for control of the medicinal hot springs of the resort destination of Ebenscale. Bose CB4 Hose attempting to mix things up for the Syndicate who have seen their regional influence wane in the recent days. But can they conquer the Crocodiles of the Keys? The forces of CB4 are pretty fresh after their win in Ebenscale two nights ago. The hot springs will have them well rested and recovered for tonight's fight at the mosh pit. We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been war correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.